Hello there, ladies, my name is Jack Septic and welcome back to Undertale! Or should I just keep calling it Pundertale? Since they just keep telling puns all the time. But um we we checked all this stuff around here, so we're gonna keep on moving along. Hello, little bear. Yes, Christmas is coming early this year. Actually, it's about time for Christmas. It's it's Halloween, but Christmas is right around the corner, so get used to that. Um, did I check up here? I don't think I did. I think I just checked around the time. Oh, the library! I didn't even check in here. Hello! Welcome to the library! Yes, we know! The sign is misspelled. Is it? Library! <laughs> Why? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. I like your style of reporting. I- the uh, newspaper, there's a lot of bullshit in it. I like ones that are full of games and Garfields. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now! I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Are you the one who made up the crossword or the junior jumbles? You look like a Lux. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving junior jumble, aren't you? Yes! I, but I just told Papyrus that, so he'd feel better about himself. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. That's... that's mean. <laughs> Basically saying that humans don't need love. Oh god, is that full of letters? Or is there a bird stuffed in there? It said that the humans don't need love and support and hope. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Oh, look inside. Yeah, does that mean that's Papyrus' house right there? Yes, let's look inside. It's empty. Oh! Wait, does that mean this is, this is Sans's? It's a mailbox overflowing with junk mail. I have no idea. Whose house is this? Let's see. It's locked. Ah, oh, god damn it. Let's go to the igloo. I forgot that that's what they did. Oh, cool. Okay, now I get. I thought I actually had to go underground. I was going to meet a ton of monsters in there and then move along. Is that a floating ice cube in the background? Oh, okay. It's locked from the inside. Let me in! Okay, maybe somebody just doesn't want to be there. Oh, also, when I was going back during the editing of the last episode, remember when I got to the gauntlet of Papyrus and he had like the little puppy and the flame torch and the spikes and everything on the bridge? And then I went back and I was like, what is that? I thought something popped up. It was Flowey! Flowey was like spying on me. And then when I got near him, he, he like went into the ground again. Maybe that's something I'm gonna see throughout the course of the game. When I go along, Flowey will just be in random positions. I like that. I like when in games, that there's like certain things that you don't see the first time. And then there's like hidden shit all over the place. That's what I really like about this game. Okay, the music stopped. That means something important's gonna happen down that way, so I don't wanna go that way yet. That's the logic I always come to, because I don't wanna do stuff... I wanna see as much of the game as I possibly can without furthering the story and not be able to come back. I'm always afraid of that. I thought there was somebody on the roof there. It looks like there is Sans and Papyrus' house because there's a skeleton flag. There's the library bee. Again, let's go up here and see what's going on. There's more houses. Is that a rock with mustache? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. That, uh, that rock just talked me. It's not the first rock that talks to me. You aren't gonna make me human again, are you? You were once human? Let's play monsters and humans! Easy. I'm the only human down here, apparently. Bam, bam, bam. Ah, what a beautiful knock! Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. <laughs> My patience rewards me! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Are you, oh, come on, answer! C come on, answer! Please! Please! I'd really love for somebody to come to the door. Maybe it's like a lesser dog thing. If I just keep banging, he'll come to the door eventually. Man! Come on! It's hoping for secrets. Secrets and sacrets. Oh! You're just throwing the cubes into the water? I thought they were like icebergs or something from runoff. Well, fair enough then. At least now I know where the ice cubes come from. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you have your reason for it. Are you like stopping global warming or something? This is spooky. Is there something here? 
Hello? No, okay. Moving on. Do 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 do. I like this music. I like all the music. I keep saying that over and over again. Sorry. It's probably getting annoying by now. Um, I keep clicking on the stuff that's on the ground as well, by the way. You can't see my hands, but I'm clicky clacking. Because I want to see if any of these patches have, like, secrets. Okay, moving on. Oh, God. Am I gonna die of the cold if I stay out in this? I can't see anything! Oh, something's happening. Papyrus! Oh, maybe now we have to battle. Human! Allow me to tell you more about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. Are you talking about me? These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. Oh. <laughs> way to flip that on its head. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... Friend? No! No! This is all wrong! I can't be your friend! Turn and look at me, bro! You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful! Popular! Prestigious! That's Papyrus, the three Ps! The newest member of the Royal Guard! Uh-oh. Oh, now we have to fight him! I love Papyrus' theme! Ba -ba 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 um, okay, Papyrus, check, insult, or flirt! I like the little hand he's got going on. I kinda wanna flirt with Papyri! What? Fl flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards! Oh, God. I can make spaghetti! He loves spaghetti! I'm gonna say this! Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! <laughs> he just said he had high standards and now it's you're meeting all of my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date l later after I capture you! Oh god, fighting. That was easy! Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh! Sans warned me that Papyrus has a blue attack, a special attack, so I gotta watch out for that. Um, okay, so I have an ice cream, a bandage, cinnamon, cinnabon, and some more ice cream. Wait, what does the bandage do? Page one. I have no idea. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date, okay. Should we keep flirting? Yeah. Oh no! Let's date l later, after I capture you! Okay, so this is the same thing again. So I gotta go with something else. Maybe I should check him. Uh, check. Eight attack, two defense. He's not that strong. He likes to say, nya ha ha! Nya ha ha! <laughs> he sure does. Okay. Your attacks are really easy to avoid. Why? Wait. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. You don't even have ears! The bone cologne. Ooh. <laughs> Is that what you'd call urine? <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, uh. I don't want to insult him. Or maybe if I try and spare him. Because that was the same with, um, Toriel. So, you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Oh, shit. Oh. I can just avoid these. Your blue attack means I just stay still. I'm amazing. Look, Papyrus, look how good I am. Oh, God, shit's about to get real, isn't it? You're blue now! Oh, you sneaky bastard! That's my attack! <laughs> oh! The music got louder! You clever bone cologne wearing motherfucker! Okay, so let's see if I can just keep sparing him. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear! Oh shit! Okay, so I gotta dodge these shit now! No! no ah! Now I don't float! Because before I floated, I could move wherever I wanted. Now I actually have gravity. Papyrus Dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. 
What? <laughs> this keeps sparing him. What? I'm thinking about that date thing. Ah, okay. Whoosh. A whooshy whoosh. A whooshy. Oh, fuck. Ah! Yeah. Good God. Okay. E easy enough. Easy enough. I I'm doing it. Um, MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Should I flirt with him again? Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Okay. Yeah. Don't make me use my special attack. I thought the blue attack was your special attack. Shit balls. Oh, fuck. Ah! I don't like it. I don't like it. Papyrus, bro. Papyrus dams MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Ah! Ugh. And I have to push up to do this, which I... Oh, that's a blue one. Shit. I have to push up to do that, which I don't like. I wish I could, like, jump on A. He dabs MTT brand... That is MTT, isn't it? Attraction slime behind his ear. You're becoming un... You're becoming so desirable to me, Papyrus. I can't say no. Head of the Royal Guard. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Good God, this is hard. Well, I'm doing it, but... Beauty yogurt behind his ear. Why would you put beauty yogurt behind your ear? Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti. If the, oh shit, I pressed up and it didn't work. That's what you want to call yourself. I was trying to. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I might have to use some items. I was trying to stay still for the blue one and then a white one came out of nowhere. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> I've been saying that all along. Uh, let's eat some ice cream. There we go, full health. Are those claws natural? Your HP was maxed out. Sweet. Undyne will be really proud of me. To meet this Undyne. I've, oh shit. I've been hearing a lot about her. Nice. Whoosh. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, getting it done. Get her done. Yes. The music is fucking awesome. Papyrus is cackling. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, not an item. I need to keep sparing you. It seems to be progressing. Blip. The king will trim a hedge in my shape of my smile. So, like, a, a, a troll face hedge? Fair enough. We should get Edward Scissor's hands in here to do it. Oh, that clicked off without me. Oh, shit. Ah! So we just jump straight up? Sneaky. Papyrus is trying... Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Yeah, because you're not that cool, Papyrus. You just think you're cool. I mean, you are cool. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. <laughs> ah! Ah! Shit! Small jumps, Jack! Ugh! Smells like mountains! Okay, I survived. I'll have lots of admirers, but... But what? Oh, balls are rooney! Ah! This does not control as well as I would like it to. And I suck as well. That's another important factor. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. <laughs> okay. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Probably not. I really like you, Papyrus. Oh god, I almost messed that up. We should go on that date thing. Fuck. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, that one moves. I don't like it! Fuck! Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Okay, I need some more ice cream. I have a bicycle. Oh yeah, I bought lots of stuff. You look nice today. Your HP was maxed out. Sweet. Someone like you is really rare. Oh, fucking love it. This game really sinks to my heart, man. It smells like bones. Okay, let's just keep sparing. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh shit, that's a blue. Ah! Heh! 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 Ah! Smells like bones. Okay, cool. And after you're captured and sent away, okay, could you, could you talk in bigger sentences? How was I supposed to be able to do that? Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Ah, who cares? Give up. I'm not giving up. I will spare you. You will show me mercy. Ah, we will go on a date, Papyrus. Fuck. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Lick a dick a dick a dick a dick. Give up or face my special attack. Blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. Nice. 
Papyrus is cackling. <laughs> yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is. I have a feeling his special attack is not that special. It's not really gonna do much. He's just talking a big game. I messed that up, fuck. I jumped too soon and then I couldn't come back down. Oh, I jumped, but it didn't work. Shit balls. Papyrus is considering his options. So am I. I need to use a bicycle. You eat one half of the bicycle. Your HKP recovered 11. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Bring it on, bro. Ah, shite. I'm gonna spare you. I realize I have invincibility frames as well when I get hit. So I should be using those. Smells like bones. This is your last chance before my special attack. Bring it on. Fuck! Bring it on, bro! Bring it on, papaya, bro! I'm jumping too high, that's my problem. Uh, maybe it's because I'm using the analog stick. Behold! My special attack! Shit! I'm on 8 HP, maybe I shouldn't have done that. What the heck? Oh! Did a dog get your bone? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Was I supposed to get that? Come back here with my special attack! We're done, bro! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack! Um, I'm, go I'm, I'm good at chance it. I'm not gonna use too many items. Ugh, here's an absolutely normal attack! Okay, okay, got it, got it, fuck! Oh, fuck! Papyrus! I thought you liked me! Spare me! Spare me! Fuck! Ah, the dog! <laughs> cool! Dude! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. What? Oh, I could just keep going up. Oh! <laughs> there we go! I did it! Not, not again! Not again! Please spare- Oh. What am I gonna do? Oh, no! <laughs> Please, not again! I have only have one hit left in me! Are we done? Well, <laughs> it's clear you can't <laughs> defeat me. Are we done? Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect you to grant elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. No, I'm sparing you! I have been the entire battle! Yes! Papyrus done! And we spared him! No death, no experience! No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend quantity will remain stagnant! What should you say? Let's be friends, what a loser! He could be a real dickbag in this game if you want, I could have killed him! Let's be friends! Why can't we be friends? Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date. You don't need to date to be friends. Actually, dating goes against being friends. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Oh, <laughs> we haven't even dated and he's already in the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot. Human, I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. That's me. I'm gonna have a powerful soul, I, I believe. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human! He wants to open the barrier with soul power! Then us monsters can return to the surface! Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters! He is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Easy enough. Why was all your text in yellow? Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamur. Dreamur? Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. 
Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Bye, Papyrus! Yeah! Will we go be on a date with Papyrus? I feel like we should. He was nice to me. I like Papyrus. He's a cool dude. He really is a cool dude. Um, we'll go save first. Just in case. There he is! Hi! <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go save, just in case something messes up. Everything's going good so far. I'm alive. I don't have to do that battle again or anything. Um... No, I'm not gonna go into grill bees. Not yet. Hello, bears! And cat lady rabbit thing. I don't know what you are. And safe! Sweet! Awesome! Okay, let's go back to Papyrus and see what's up. Yes, everybody, hold your applause! I know I'm fine. I'm fantastic. Don't know why I went in the dad accent. I also kinda wanna change Sansa's voice again. I don't know why. Some of the voices become a bit hard to do after a while, so I I, I kinda wanna change them and I don't I still don't think Sansa's voice is right. I'm still adjusting to it. Papyrus is perfect because he looks like Skeletor. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Is it your bedroom? Not the library. Grillbees? <laughs> what? <laughs> Please go back to the house. Please. <laughs> My house! <laughs> I fucking love it. I knew as soon as he turned around. Oh, yeah! That's how you get to have a date with- Oh, some people were saying as well that the main character is like gender neutral. That it's not a he or a she, it's kind of left up to the player to do. So, I, I keep saying it's a girl just because, I don't know. I, I wanted to, I wanted it to be a girl. I thought it was a girl as soon as I saw it, so I'm just gonna stick with that. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. You don't need to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> what is this? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. <laughs> okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. <laughs> and don't bring it back. Okay. <laughs> it's still here. Okay, what kind of voice will I change from? I, I kind of want to keep that sort of deep thing going on, but a lot of people seem to think he's like a New Yorker. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? I, I don't know if that's right. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Because... He seems to be a bit more of a serious character than I'm letting him on to be. And if I keep talking like this with him, it makes him sound like... It makes him sound like the sidekick. And it makes him sound dumb, which he's not. The more I've- the more I've talked to him, the more I've kind of realized... This, uh, Papyrus is the fucking sidekick, it seems. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. <laughs> you touch the couch! It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold! Sweet! Now I have like 100. 102. I didn't get any gold for defeating Papyrus. Should've got a lot, he was like a main boss. Also, what is going on in that room up there? Oh, my face is probably blocking it, isn't it? It's really hard to figure out where to put my face in this game. Oh, you're following me. Why is there a sink on top of the fridge? Oh, that's a door. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> There's the dog eating the bone again. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine. No, I don't want to. Curses. <laughs> Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Nice, so it's Sansa's room. That's why there's a load of shit going on in there. Cool! Oh, my face is probably blocking it out again, isn't it? I should probably remember to edit that, but, but for like really long episodes, it's like, okay, just, it's all uncut. Shit. Okay, aha! Interested in my food museum. I'm gonna call my kitchen the food museum from now on. Please, Peru is my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. <laughs> The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Cool, you really like your spaghetti, don't you? Spaghetti bro. Um... 
My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Fair enough. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. <laughs> cool. Can you just follow me everywhere? Go back. Ah, I'm gonna get you. Let's talk to him. Welcome to scenic my house. <laughs> Enjoy and take your time. It's a joke book. Oh fuck no. Oh, prepare for the puns. Strap yourselves in. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Let's just keep going on. I have a feeling that that's a joke based around quantum physics. That that's kind of a thing about quantum physics that I don't get because I don't know anything about quantum physics. If it is, please let me know in the comments. Like an endless loop kind of thing. Is this Papyrus's room? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Not yet. Go inside? No. We're going to look around a bit. I want to look at your bone art. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. Let's go and talk to Sans. The door is locked. Great. Love it. Okay, let's go into your room. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Nice room, bro! I like all your little dolls on the left. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. They're all bones. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it was- it basically just happened. <laughs> it happened five minutes ago, dude. <laughs> That's my bed! Of course it's a race car! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Why wind in my hair. I almost said wind. Sun on my skin! Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. You don't have hair, you don't have skin, this is a race car bed, and monsters are stuck underground. So poor naive little Sans. Papyrus. Fuck. <laughs> I was thinking about Sans's room again. Ah, yes! Action figures! A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios! How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. <laughs> nice. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only you knew. Poor, dumb, naive little papyrus. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> the ending always gets me. Such a contrast. Is this your computer? Do you look up all the all the battle scenarios? The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has been besieged- has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Is it Comic Sans? By any chance? Cause that's your bro, bro. Um, also, yes, Papyrus, you were incredibly popular on the internet. Especially Tumblr and DeviantArt where everybody draws you all the time. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look inside the closet. Yes. Clothes are hung up, but neatly inside. Can I see your clothes? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? I don't know. Begin the date. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, dating start. I have to fight you again? Dating start. Do, 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 do. Also, I've been listening to the soundtrack a lot when I like walk to the shop. So a lot of these songs, like, I don't know the names of them. I just have them on playing while I go along and they're really short so I blast through a lot of them. So I know a lot of the songs already, which is cool. Here we are, on our date. I have actually never done this before. Shocking. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. Wait, did he say library? Please tell me he did. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Woo! Woo! We have reel it in, sat, population, egg, crime, and a dog raider. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <coughs> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes, let's go on a date. Uh, re really? Wowee! He's so cute! <coughs> I guess that- uh, Why is there a shit ton of crime going on, by the way? I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three! Put on nice clothes to show you care! Do it! Let me see your outfit! Let me see all the wardrobe you had! Wait a second! Wear clothing? That bandana around your head! That's cool! Cause I bought the bandana to increase my defense, remember? So he actually remembers it. Also, it's warm as a badger's ass in here. <clears throat> You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes, even though you look really evil right now. I, I really love his little hand at the side. Was he supposed to do that? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! No! Your dating power! Oh yes! Dating power increased! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! You said this was your first date! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Nice! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Um, not gonna lie, I love it. You look awesome. Are those basketballs on your arms, on your shoulders. I also like the cool dude shirt. I'm gonna say I love it, because I really do. No! A genuine compliment! My date power is off the charts right now. Well, actually it's not, it's still within the charts, but whatever. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, please say I, the great papyrus. Ah, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen! Move and inspect with Z. Oh! Can I inspect your pants? There's no secret to my legs. Okay, just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. Haha! <laughs> no, I must resist! Um... This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it! Expert tip! All clothing articles can be improved this way! <laughs> I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart! But who doesn't? Those, those are your shoulders, not your biceps. Also, my hands stink. They smell like plastic. Maybe it's the controller. Okay, um, your hat? Oh, I didn't check your shoes. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. <laughs> um, okay, your face. My hat? No, your face! My hat! My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! Is it a present? I suppose I have no choice. It's a present! A present ju just for you! Open it! Is that spaghetti? Do you know what this is? Yes! Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong! This ain't own any old plain passa! I messed up all of that sentence, but it's fine because I, the great papyrus, are a great wordologist! This is an artisan's work! 
silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Ugh, my voice from keeps waning as well, because going up into that range <clears throat> for the great Papyrus gets a bit hard after a while. I'm gonna eat. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable, good or bad. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Oh yes, date power increase! Go! No! Oh, Jesus. Did I win the date? Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Hmm, <laughs> oh, shoot, human, I, I'm sorry, I don't like you the way you like me. No, romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. It's, it's the folly of Papyrus. He's so great that he does not realize the power that he holds. Into your intense love for me, a dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you, because I don't even have lips. <laughs> and hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me, Papyrus. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Good God! Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> oh no! Is he gone? Shit, man! Is he in his closet? Oh no! Don't tell me Papyrus is gone forever now! I really liked him! Platonically. Damn it! Okay, well, on we go, I guess. Now where do I go? Um... To the cavern? I'm gonna search around a bit. I wanna see if he's around. Is he in the library? No. I have a feeling he might be gone. And that sucks. Do you see anything different? Nope. Oh! Oh no, it's the same stuff as before. Papyrus to be gone. <laughs> he was one of my favorites. I also really like doing his voice. <clears throat> oh, I didn't talk to you before. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. <laughs> Relax there. I'm a hot guy in real life, but the character is not. Hot in its own little regard, but nah. Um. Okay, safe. What the health am I at? 20. No, I was gonna say, should I go in and sleep? Should I go buy more stuff at the shop? Do 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 bo 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 bo. Um, gonna buy another bicycle. And a cinnamon bun. Sweet. Cool. Um, just in case. And I'll probably actually just save again. Cool. 
So should I go to the right then and stay going into the cavern? It seems like I've done everything here. At least for now. And do 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 do. It's such a nice calming little place. And I really like snow and snowy forests. You guys know that by now. So I really like this area. Okay, we we'll go to the cavern then. There's the ice cubes that Mr. Wolfie was throwing in. Am I gonna meet something else in here? Oh, it fizzles back in. Okay, on to the castle! Is this anything? No, okay. Ice cubes! Where are you guys going? Oh, hi Sans! Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I wanna be just like her when I grow up! Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here! <laughs> Who? Who are we talking about? And there's a save right there. Oh, of course there is. Hello, fish dude! This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. <laughs> Nice! Neat, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. Ready for what? Neat, huh? That's clever. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. I'm being filled with so much determination in this game. Okay, so we gotta set on a voice for Sans right now. I I kinda think in a bit of a voice like this. I I don't know. Cause he seems to be a bit more suave, and a bit more cool than I've been letting him on. Like, this seems to be his music as well. And like, a voice like this kinda doesn't go with that. Cause it makes him sound stupid. Um, yeah. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah, let's go to Grillby's. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Nice! Grillbees is that way. Over here, I know a shortcut. Cause he seems like the kind of like, Hey, what's up guys? Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey Sans! Hi Sans! Cause they're the dogs. Greeting Sans! Hiya Sansy! Nice! Hey Sans, weren't you just... Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Haha, <laughs> uh, am I right? Am I right? That's another reason I kind of went with this voice. Because it's like, hey guys, you like my jokes? You get the jokes? What, 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 what a terrific audience. Here, get comfy. The whoopee cushion again, Sans. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Um, fries or a burger? Fries or burger? I mean, I don't know what I was saying. Guys, I'm kind of hungry in real life as well. I'm pretty, I'm pretty famished right now. Um, burger. I kind of want something to fill me a bit more. Unless I don't know the portion sizes. This is a really big question. Burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of the burg. Cool. Are you combing your non-hair? <laughs> so, what do you think? Of my brother. He's a cool dude. He's really not, but I say it because he suffers from really low self-esteem. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> hey, Grillby bro, thank you for my burger. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? I'm gonna say yeah, but I have a feeling that you're trying to prank me. Bone appetit! <laughs> Bony appetite. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Great joke, Sans! What are we, six? Whoops. Hey, forget about it! Another reason why I went with this accent. Like, look at that talk! Cause if he- if he was, hey, forget about it. That doesn't really go so, hey, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway, because you're a skeleton. Stop scratching your arse, man. <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard, 
and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Yeah, Papyrus is a bit not all there with the whole warrior thing. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Are you gonna ask me to marry you? Sans, I can't believe so soon after I've arrived. Oh, he's talking about a talking flower, he's talking about flowey. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Sans seems to know what's going on. Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh, that one. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. It's flowey! Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. See, there's the overarching thing coming back into it. I, I really like that. The progression of the story, like the pacing of it, is really well done. It's like, it starts off, it's like Flowey's there, don't trust him, the Toriel stuff happens, then a big battle with her, and then it's like, the flower's back, and you're like, okay. Then you come in, you meet Papyrus and the comic relief and everything, stuff dies down a bit, it gets a bit funnier after a while, and now it's back to the flower thing. Very clever. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. You put me away! Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just... 10,000? No! Just kidding. Grumpy, put it on my tab. Sans, you're a good guy. You play a lot of jokes, but you're good. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> Must have been a lie. That's what my granny used to always say. If you were, if you were there saying, I was going to say something, but I forgot what it was. She'd say it was a lie. Because I mustn't have been serious enough for you to remember. Um, okay, I might- uh, I thought I was closer to the igloo thing. I'm gonna use this to go down to the far end. Ah! It saved me some time, I guess. Onwards we go! I like Sans! Uh, people are asking me who I like more, Sans or Papyrus. Again. And I don't know who. Papyrus has that whole, like, like, sweet, innocent thing going on. He thinks he's a lot greater than he is, so you kind of feel bad for him. But Sans- Sans relates a lot to me as a character. Cause it's like, hey, how's it going, toots? Not that I talk like that, but it's like, he, <laughs> I don't know, he, he, he's kind of chill. He's chilled out. And he tells a lot of stupid jokes as well, which is what I do. Let's hang out again sometime. I, I'm feeling this voice a lot more. I know a lot of you would be like, oh, Jack, no, don't change it. It was perfect before. But you have to admit, after that last conversation with the whole, forget about it. Put it on my tab. You have to admit that that kind of voice suits him a bit more. I only put on the, hey, my, my name is Sans, because his voice stuff, like, kind of sounds like that. This is a box. You can put an item in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same as always. Can I go down here? No. What's going on? Oh, do I have to dodge these? Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wait, they don't come down that far. Never mind. Here's an echo flower. What was the last thing someone said to you? I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Can I go up? Ah! Oh, they don't hit me. Oh. Huh. There's a camera behind the waterfall. Another one. There was a camera right at the start as well in the forest where I met Sans. Wait. Where do I go? I can't go down. What? Where do I go? Um, hello? I don't know where I go or what I do. Oh, wait. Can I go across these? Oh, this is where it's stopping. Ah, fuck. Wow. Oh, okay, we did it. Okay, I'm a dumb. Onwards. Ooh, that looks cool. I like that. I don't like this. What's happening? Papyrus? Ha Hi, Undyne! I'm here with my daily report! So that's Undyne? 
Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? D did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I, for I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W w well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. <laughs> what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see, you see, mm. Undyne's scary. Undyne's a girl as well, right? They said that at the start. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Ooh. Oh, oh, do I have to fight you? Oh! No thanks! I can't do anything. What are you doing? What was that all about? Am I special? Did you see something special in me? No, no, you don't want to fight me. Because I, I see something special in me as well. Hey, little dude! <laughs> Yo! Did you see that way she was staring at you? That... was awesome! I'm so jealous! What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on! Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! Oh, <laughs> He's adorable. Oh, I like this music. A feeling of dread hangs over you. But you stay determined. <laughs> um, okay, it's only about 50 minutes, we can stay going. I want the episodes to be like an hour, even longer. Because I like this game and I like playing it, I like doing the voices. I like, like, there's a, there's a fantastic atmosphere to it and I want it to keep going. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. Right, do I just put them in the water? Bridge seeds, really? A uh, whoosh! Yeah! Thank you! That was easy. There's a crack in the wall. Is that another camera looking at me? I also hope I don't have to fight a boss anytime soon. Okay, battle! Hello, Aaron! A sexy muscle horsefish eel. Aaron flexes in! Um, let's flex back. You flex! Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Okay. Flexing contest. Okay. Flex more. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Ah! He reminds me of Gaston. Like, the, the Disney guy. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Should I keep flexing? His attack keeps increasing, though. It's making it hard. Let's check. This seahorse has a lot of HP. Horsepower. <laughs> All of attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. Okay, so should I stay near the top of the box? Ah, shit. Shit. God, I'm at 11 HP already. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay, maybe I can get away with flexing again. I have a save right back there anyway, so if I fail. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Nice, I won't lose though. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Did good that time. Aaron is ready for your next flex. I don't know if I should keep flexing. Um. Ah! Flex again? You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. You earned 30 gold. Bye. Okay, I was going to use some, um. What's a bandage do? Heals 10 HP, it has already been used several times. Ew. Um, I'll use a bicycle, because I don't think that will heal me fully. Oh, it does. Sweet, okay, let's continue on. What's that sign say? I wanna see what that sign says. I wanna see the sign! Oh God, puzzles? Bridge flowers. That's not right, is it? Shit. Because they're supposed to align. Crap. I think I did it wrong. Damn it. Can I fix it? Can I go back and then come back in? Oh, man. I don't want to fight a flex bro again, though. Hmm. Maybe I can use them down here. 
see what the sign says. They put them across the bottom. Because otherwise, otherwise they, won't, they won't form a full four line. Oh, whoosh! There we go. I'm gonna end up fighting somebody again in here. I don't want to. I don't like random battles. Even though I like the characters, even like, even the minor characters, like the little enemies, are all so much fun to see and read and talk to. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. You motherfucker! <laughs> oh, this game and it's jokey jokes. Alright, so, we have to form four across here, but where can I form perfect four? Uh, across the top? No. Let's just see. Let's read this. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Oh! Nice. So I don't have to go all the way back out. So, I can put like four across here. No, I can't. I can put four up here, but they won't form a bridge. Let's just see. Okay. That's not good, is it? No. It'll form a bridge. Oh, it does! That helps. Yes. Now I can get across. Woo! Ring! Oh, I forgot I got Papyrus' number. Hello? This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? <laughs> it was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? What will you say? I'm gonna be truthful. I think it's Undyne that he's talking about anyway. So you are wearing a bandana. You know that! You saw it already! Got it. Wink wink. Have a nice day. Hmm. This puzzle. I've got it. Try to build a bridge with the bridge seeds. So that's what Papyrus' role is now. He's like my- my go-to, he's like my codec. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish could- would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. So somebody said that, because these are echo flowers. Wishing room. Cool! Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. Fuck. Was there a character down there? What are you? Washua waffles up. Shuffles up. <laughs> waffles. Washua, clean joke, touch. Let's check. Washua, seven attack, one defense. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Hey! Scrub a dub dubs! Oh god. Oh, Jesus balls. Oh god. Ah! God, I'm so stupid! Smells like detergent! So should we... Touch! You reach out! Watch where it recoils from your touch! Yuck! Cause he, he's, a, he's afraid of the germy germs? I do not have precognition! Watch where is looking for... Okay, let's clean. You ask Watch to clean you! It hops around excitedly! Green means clean! Oh, sweet love of fuck! I have to get the greens! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, balls! Watch your friends with a little bird. Is it called Twitter? Um, fuck, I'm gonna have to use some items. You reapplied the bandage. Still kinda gooey. Re recovered 10 HP. Out, darn! Out, darn spot! Okay, here we go, here we go. Got this, I 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 got this. Just staying down here. Nice. Watch your is right rinsing off pizza. Cool, I'm gonna clean. You ask Watch to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Okay, I have to get the greens. Oh, uh, God. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes! I got one! Watch with friends with a little bird. Yeah! Oh, whoosh! God almighty. That could have got tough. Oh, there's a telescope. I wish my sister and I would see the real star someday. Look through the telescope. Yes. Okay, is that a puzzle solution? Or is it just... whatever. Oh, I can look around. Oh! Check wall! Uh, oh, okay, I thought it was telling me to check wall. Check wall. Check wall. Check wall. Check wall. What? I'm pressing the button to check wall. At least I thought I was. C can I check wall? I'm not checking wall. 
Check wall. <laughs> ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Should I check wall? <laughs> ah, check wall. Check wall, check wall. Check wall, check wall, check wall. What's this? Nothing. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take, it would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. I'm a single human? Are you gonna use my soul to try and kill all monsters? Destroy all humans? But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. Okay, if a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster will- A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. So this seems to play into the whole like sparing thing, because everyone's trying to fight me and kill me to take my soul to be powerful. But if I keep sparing them, then it seems like I win them over, and then they're like, oh, let's be friends. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Can I see it? Uh-oh. Did I go too far? Okay, I kind of want to save again. Oh, this looks scary. Undyne, are you going to come out again? Did I do a bad? Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 run, run. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to be a boss battle. I guess not. Ah! Jesus Christ! Undyne, bro! You fucking relax! Ah! I don't like this, 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 I don't like this! I don't know how to fucking dodge it either! Ah! I can't use any items! Shite balls! Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Go, go, please go, please go, please go, bro! Okay, that seems to be doing. Shite, 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 Please don't tell me it's a boss battle, I'm not ready for this. I can't move either. Hi. Oh no! The little dude! Oh god. Is he dead? Please don't tell me he's dead. Oh, I stopped. Yay! Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, I want a doofus. <laughs> oh, yes, I can save. Oh, thank God. Jeez, man. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. It fills you with determination. What does the thing say? Squeak? That's so clever. Can I get this? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Is there a way I can get all these cheeses? There seems to be a lot of cheese lying around that I'm not able to get. And spaghettis and stuff. I hope I'm not missing something. Oh man, Undyne is scary. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. Seems like a good stopping off point. We got a good episode out of that. I, I am in love with this game. All I want to do is play it and record it all the time. It's so cool. Oh man, hopefully you guys are enjoying it just as much. The characters are really good and I hope people are getting in on the characters too. Um, who's your favorite character so far? I'm really curious because mine, I think mine is Papyrus. Sans is cool. Sans is a very, very close second. If we were at 100 for Papyrus, Sans would be 99. And I, re I really like both of them. Um, but Papyrus has given me more laughs and more like... He's given me more character so far. Sans seems to be a bit more chilled out by everything, so his character isn't evolving as much as Papyrus's is. And I went on a date with Papyrus, and he really likes me. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Wake up, boys! And high fives all around! Whoosh, whoosh. Well, thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Ah, crap, crap balls, crap balls. Okay, that should be enough to clear. You better clear it! You're not hit by bridge! There you go, thank you.
The, the bus isn't gonna go up now. It's giving me hydraulics for a reason. No. Shit, he balls. Do I have to leave? Why was the skeleton sad going to the disco? Because he had no body to go with. Boom!